Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvania toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today, we'll be reviewing the one-step changer, Dinobot Grimlock. Before we get down to Grimlock, we didn't show this off with B-Force Megatron a couple days ago. So we're bringing him back. And I had to show this off because I didn't show it off. He has the little buttons on his hips and he can fire these little discs. Cool, right? He fires two discs. So much fun with this toy. For based on a 1980s Transformers character, this toy is pretty sick for sure but yeah sorry i forgot about that on the review but that's what the 1986 M megatron from the beast wars did i don't have a g1 megatron maybe one of these days i'll make a re-release of that and i'll definitely pick them up but i do have the 1980s beast wars megatron the thing where the tongue comes out i don't know how you get it out Everybody shoots water with it. I can't remove mine to actually show that off. Oh, I guess I did. Huh. I'll have to go fill it with water and show it off. Yeah. If I get some water in here, how do I get some water in here? We'll be back. Sorry about that. Apparently, it doesn't work. Man. <laughs> Money I put on this thing, and it doesn't even work. What a disappointment that was. To waste that time, huh? Otherwise, it would have worked. You would have seen it shoot water right when you opened the mouth here. But yeah, it would have been cool. If the feature worked on this copy. I guess they decided, because it was too messy, to skip that idea but yeah the original could do that 1980s and he was the mortal enemy of optimus prime all oh, which was pretty cool shame he can't do that anymore but he's got a pincher claw like so it's imagination you can get it like this and have it crush another maximal See if I can get a maximal out to do that comparison. We'll have him grab it onto Primal. I will put the squeeze on you, Optimus Primal. Urr. And that's all there is to say for that. Sorry, I added something else to this review. I didn't get a chance to show off much of the features of the toy. But yeah, now we're gonna get down to Grimlock. He doesn't roll or anything, but you can kind of push him around on the table. He can be pushed on the table. Now for some other Michael Bay comparisons. Last Age of Extinction One Step Changer, Optimus Prime. Three Step Changer, Optimus Prime. Legends, Optimus Prime. And that's all there is to say for the comparisons in dino mode. I don't have an Age of Extinction Bumblebee. I don't have 
Hound. I don't have Crosshairs. So I do have a limited collection of these things. I never picked those guys up, and it was hard enough to get these guys not broken. But I got this not broken for only four bucks from a toy collector place called Dimensions Comics, and I never regretted picking Grimlock up. Meet Grimlock King! And that's my Grimlock impression. And you can have him wielding a sword like he did in G1 and be like, Face my sword of fury, Decepticons! Yeah! And yeah, I don't have Galvatron either. But I have Grimlock. And now we're going to transform some other figures for comparisons. Pretty simply. These figures I've memorized by heart. One Step Changer, Age of Extinction, Optimus Prime. They both got Swords of Fury ready for battle against the Decepticons. Now you'll compare us next to Three Step Changer, Optimus Prime. And he is much smaller next to that three-step changer, Age of Extinction, or Last Night Optimus Prime. And of course, why not the original Legends, Age of Extinction, Optimus Prime. Why not? Because he's a repaint of the Michael Bay movie, Optimus Prime. And he is way much smaller than the one step. But he's still precious. Oh, dino body precious. Why not? And just because I have an incomplete last night Grimlock, he's missing quite a few pieces. But why, why don't I dig him out of the parts bin? Just to show you the difference between this and that. This is the much better looking one, movie accurate. That one, not so much. But he's hard enough to get standing on his own two feet. Because my copy is really loose. I need a more complete Grimlock to replace that one. But otherwise, a good looking figure, if I do say so myself. Do I highly recommend this figure? If you can find him for less than $20, maybe $30, pick him up, even if he's at the thrift store or at some collector's shop. If you love Transformers as much as I do and you love the Dinobot himself, Grimlock, who's king of the Dinobots, pick him up. He's awesome. He rocks. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.